ist Thomas Kaufmann, I'm Vice President for International Business and Service. You know, 10 years ago we have, we have delivered the first Pandur vehicle to the Czech Army. And uh, here now today as a transatlantic partner uh, for land defense in Europe, we're here because we run our business out of Europe. So that's why for us here this is a kind of a home market show and we're pleased to be here. With the changing um, doctrine, so to say, that, that, that homeland defense is becoming more in the focus uh, also here in Europe with NATO, uh, we think that military mobility is becoming a capability and the main focus for our customers. And military mobility means how can we bring forces, mechanized forces from A to B over different manned, made or natural obstacles. So that's why, that's why under the, under the uh, military mobility approach, we are sh offering our customers a capability which is composed out of vehicles, military vehicles, but also bridging assets. Without a bridge, you can only reach with your vehicle to a certain distance. So we have the M3, uh, which provides a key capability within NATO. Uh, here at the booth we have the IRB, it's, it's a pontoon bridge which we hear also for, for wet bridging but also for the first time um, the, the Cobra bridge which you see on our Ascot vehicle um, and behind me on our Eagle it's a light bridge as I said the vehicle goes together with the bridge. We're not a turret manufacturer but we are, we are, we are integrating and supplying vehicle systems and what you see here on, on the turret system this is one solution you see here, the MENT, a MENT 30 mil turret system, which is in combination with our vehicle, the Ascot, what we show here as a candidate for the Czech, uh, Czech Army Infantry Fighting Vehicle requirement. And uh, the candidate what Channel Dynamics is presenting to our, to our Czech customer is the Ascot in the version which you see be, be behind me. We follow here an approach not only that we offer the latest on most modern infantry fighting vehicle which is in service with, with other customers and providing unique capabilities uh, what, what we have here but it's also it goes along with our with our strategy of industrial participation and cooperation with Czech uh, industry and I'm really pleased because if you look a little bit behind me and next to the Ascot you see the Pando vehicle and as I said before, 10 years ago, we have delivered the first vehicle to the Czech Army. And today, the vehicle, which you see here, was put completely produced and designed in Czech Republic with our strategic partner. And we follow a similar approach here with the Ascot, which you see here behind me. So the vehicle, which you see here, uh, is based on the latest technology, um, but customized for the specific needs of the Czech Army. We are flexible to providing specific responses to the army-specific requirements. Um, and so far, I think we're in a good dialogue. And when it comes to competition, I think it's something good. We need competition, we need good competition, we need transparent competition, because this drives us to be the number one. And if you want to be the number one, you need to demonstrate that you can win competitions. First of all, uh, let me introduce our dear guests and speakers. I will begin with Mr. Thomas Kaufmann, Vice President for International Business and Services. Another dear guest is Jose Lineros, Vice President of Engineering. The third guest is Christian Kaut, Vice President for Bridging Systems.
that provides the land mobility to the bridging asset. Thank you for the opportunity to introduce the vehicle we have presented here. This is a new variant we show up in, in, the, uh, in the Czech uh, Republic on this exhibition. Uh, yes, Puma is an uh, infantry fighting vehicle in service for the German Bundeswehr, but uh, German Bundeswehr had additional requirements and we tried to, uh, to integrate several new items in the vehicle in order to fulfill the requirements. For instance, the requirement for uh, more firepower was fulfilled with the integration of this uh, MELS. Uh, it is a spike launcher with two missiles inside, which was integrated in our turret. It is fully qualified in the German armed forces. Um, uh, the advantage of uh, the integration, which was conducted uh, in, uh, with the parent companies of uh, PSMOs, that it is fully integrated in the system of the Puma. Means um, the operator, the gunner, can use his uh, monitor, his handle to steer the missile. No? It is not only an add-on; it is fully integrated and of course, uh, which is uh, also important to say, it is qualified. You can see some additional antennas on the top of the turret. Um, this is because we have introduced uh, more sophisticated radios, uh, which was also a requirement, because uh, in the origin of Puma, there were only old um, uh, radios uh, in service um, and the German uh, armed forces, but of course uh, the procurement of the German army has changed. Now we have to integrate the new radios and of course it is necessary uh, uh, to use this uh, new radios no, for uh, missions with other countries, for instance in the frame of NATO. On this vehicle on the exhibition we have removed a prototype of our side system which is also an improvement of the, uh, of the old Puma, if you can say it so, uh, especially for the driver that he uh, gets a sighting system uh, for day and night vision. So uh, the capability of the vehicle uh, increase, especially during night operations, which is also very important. It was an additional requirement from the German armed, uh, armed forces and uh, we had uh, fulfilled with the integration of a new side system. We are happy that we have uh, delivered more than 250 vehicles at the moment and uh, looking in the future uh, there are the next 100 vehicles will be delivered uh, in a year. So I think we are on schedule and that we could finish all deliveries uh, the 350 vehicles under contract in 2020. We have a qualified protection, very sophisticated, and so yes, we are happy that we could offer the, mo the most sophisticated and most protected vehicle which is in service right now. So um, it is a very good opportunity for us uh, and uh, hopefully for the Czech army as well that they can get a very good vehicle and especially if we are talking about missions and NATO framework uh, concept, no? it would be the same vehicle in service in the German armed forces and it would be a benefit for both countries. My name is Jan Kratky, I'm the marketing manager for Excalibur Army and what you see behind me is already an uh, award-winning uh, vehicle which was awarded the uh, Golden IDET uh, uh, award just last uh, evening. It's a multi-purpose -plat uh, multi platform uh, MREP class vehicle, uh, 4x4 based on chassis uh, produced by Tatra. Also having a Tatra engine uh, with 300 kilowatt power and uh, it's air-cooled, uh, that gives it a, an advantage into a close combat fight. 
The platform is uh, multi-purpose, as I said already. Uh, it's meant to be serving, of course, for the uh, in the armed forces, but as well in, uh, uh, let's say, integrated uh, rescue forces. We're already discussing uh, uh, several units for uh, Czech national firefighting uh, units, and uh, uh, the vehicle is pretty much unique with uh, the weight. Uh, it's not easy. Uh, to find many competitors in the class from 13 to 17 tons. Uh, because uh, of the heavy duty chassis, it can also uh, bear a lot of weight on it, up to, as I said, uh, let's say 12 ton, uh, 12 ton extra. And uh, uh, it can be a class uh, two up to four level stanak and uh, anti ballistic. And anti mine protection is optional from two to three. Uh, we're showing uh, the vehicle with the uh, Next, uh, uh, ARX 20, 20 millimeter automatic gun uh, with the 7.62 uh, uh, extra uh, machine gun. The design is uh, done in Excalibur Army uh, in cooperation with several partners, but it's our new, brand new product and we've learned a lot about uh, um, uh, the space requirements uh, based on the previous version, the Patriot number one. And uh, we, this, this version is much uh, wider, larger, uh, therefore it offers extra space for the crew and equipment and also longer uh, range, um, a cruising range, which has been increased by 200 kilometers up to 700 at the moment. The Dana is now uh, a project which is on hold uh, because Czech Army s seeks a solution with 155 millimeters but still uh, offers a uh, very good firepower and excellent uh, uh, readiness for combat because it's been enhanced with uh, an aiming system which now takes very short to to establish a position and withdraw uh, after the, the firing. So the, the system is again much more fast and, uh, and uh, uh, effective.